let's continue to talk about the power that's in your hand. And are you willing to do something with what you were entrusted with in terms of your gifts, your talent, your time, and your resource? Uh, so there's another story that I want to talk about uh, as it relates to the power that's in your hand and what are you going to do with it. And that story comes from John chapter 6 verse 1 through 15. Jesus was speaking to a whole multitude of people, teaching them all day long. And then at the end of the meeting, Jesus wanted to feed the people. And his disciple, uh, I believe that was uh, Andrew, that recognized the little boy with two fish and five loaves of bread. And the little boy released the two fishes and five loaves of bread that was in his hand. And when he turned it over to Jesus, Jesus made a miracle out of it. Jesus was able to feed a multitude of 5,000 people, not counting the women and the children that was in that meeting. And so when you use what's in your hand, Jesus is able to take that and work a miracle out of it, as in the case of the little boy with the two fishes and the five loaves of bread. Uh, so I want to ask you a few questions to help stimulate your faith and also to help you to, to, uh, to just look around and take a introspection in your life about what's in your hand. And question number one is, what's in your hand right now, right now? I'm not talking about what you're wishing, what you're thinking, what you're hoping for. What's in your hand by way of your gifts, your talents, your ability, and your resources? So compound a list right now uh, of the things that's in your hand. Are you reluctant to use what's in your hand? It can only be a yes or no. If you are saying that you are reluctant and that's a no, explain why. Write that down. Explain why you are not willing to, to use what's in your hand at this moment. Question number three, what problem can you solve? You can solve a problem. Just begin to, to think, what problem can you solve? Write it down. How can you use what's in your hands to be a blessing to others? A lot of times we're looking to be a blessing to ourselves. But when we begin to use our gifts and our talents uh, to bless others, then the blessing can't help but to come back to us. Last question. Do you get the picture on how God can use what's in your hand? Do you get that picture? If so, write it down. You know, this is Dr. Karen Proctor on the power that's in your hand. If you need Christian coaching or counseling, you can reach out to me at www.karenproctor.com and I will love to work with you. Bye for now.